Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done like an emerald green kind of inspired makeup look. So one of you guys, one of my lovely subscribers requested a emerald green smoky eye like kind of like a duck wing inspired makeup look. I'll show you the picture that I used as like a kind of guide and inspiration if you will. And I kind of used the inspiration of this duck picture to kind of create like an ombre, like a halo eye look. So it's inspired with the browns and the crease and it goes from the emerald shade into like the blue center because on the duck wing it had like the greens but it also faded into blues. It was so beautiful. And I just wanted to kind of recreate that for you because Jen that was who it was. You requested that it was like emerald green eye and I get a duck wing inspired so basically this is what I came up with I hope you guys like it make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you do have any requests then please let me know because I will recreate them for you otherwise have an awesome day I love you all so much and I'll see you soon Mwah. bye hey guys so I've already done the base today just because I wanted to do straight into this eye look and I've done my base a few in a few, a few videos and things so I'll leave a linked up above my um, long wearing foundation makeup routine because that's what I'm wearing today but otherwise let's go straight on with the eyes so I've already um, primed my lids I just used the concealer I went in with before to just kind of create a nice even base for them so the eyeshadow just pow it just pops a bit more and I also set it with just any pressed powder so guys I'm so excited to do this eye look today like ah. Uh... So one of you lovely subscribers, I just I love you all so much. One of you guys requested a like emerald green look a while back and I realised I didn't have any greens really in my collection. So the star of the show today is going to be this absolutely stunning green eyeshadow. What's it called actually? It's called Epic. So it's such a stunning eyeshadow guys. Like, do you just see it? It's, it's from Makeup Geek. It's their foiled eyeshadow. Girl, so pretty. So pretty. And you said you want it kind of like a, like, you know, like a duck, like a duck's wing. Like, you know, it like, has that green to blue fade. And I really like that look. So I'm going to try and do that. I hope it turns out well. We'll just fingers crossed and let's just see how it goes. You know what I mean? It's going to be a smoky eye because I feel like a smoky eye is just just calling for me today you know you just feel like a smoky eye mood that's what I'm feeling so we're gonna start off with a soft brown in my crease as a transition color to help blend through the other deeper shadows that we'll be applying next oh tongue-tied so just grab it on any fluffy brush you guys have I'm using the 228 from Zoeva it's just a nice fluffy brush so it applies the pigment quite softly in, in a more like spread out area just so that it kind of fades into the skin and I'm just fading it up towards the brow bone so with this eye I'm going to work down in like a gradient so the next color I'm going to take just a slightly deeper brown I've done this in a few other videos before you guys would have seen like I just feel like to create that perfect smoky eye you need to have a few different brown shades or a few different similar tones of the shade that you're using like if you're using purples you want to just go slightly darker each time same with any other color you want to just grab a different like a slightly darker shade each time to create that perfect smoked out look if you just jump from a light color to a really dark color it's harder to blend out and you don't get that really smooth blend so i'm going to take this like i said this slightly deeper brown shade on a slightly more dense brush i'm going to to go in with the definer crease brush from Zoeva. Low, I meant the soft crease brush. <laughs> My bad. It's just slightly more dense than the 228. And I'm going to just place that through the crease slightly below where we place that transition collar. And I'm like contemplating, do I want to do like halo eye or like a 
smoky eye because I was going to do a smoky eye but now I'm thinking like I think I might do a halo eye yep you know what I'm going to do a halo eye it's decided <laughs> now I've just got to decide if I want to do like a spotlight halo eye or just your usual halo eye like that is now what I'm contemplating anyways to kind of create it into a more halo eye shape I'm rounding out the eye as you can probably see so instead of just focusing it on the outer corner I'm like bringing it towards the inner corner literally I'm just letting the brush fall into the socket of my eye and just get guided by you know my eye butt crease kind of thing <laughs> just let it fall in there and do its thing you know nothing too crazy and I'm just quickly going back in with that transition color on the 228 to soften the edges but I don't really need much done to them. And basically what I do is I just like to go back in with the previous shade each step that I go through and just blend out the the darker shade to create a more smoky look because if I just leave it and just go to the next one, go to the next one, it kind of builds up and looks more harsh rather than soft. So I just go back in with the previous shades and just smoke it out. So next I'm going to grab the next darker brown shade from the palette. I'm going in with this like kind of warm toned brown, like a bricky brown shade. I'm going in on a more dense brush. Again, this is the Soft Diviner from Zoeva. I'm going to just place this, like I said before, just below the previous shades. We're always just taking it like a step lower in the crease so that they create that gradient effect. Just taking those two previous brown shades, I'm just going to soften the edges a little bit. Bam. And it's just got that nice gradient going. That's just what we want. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, I'm going to move on to the next brown shade. So basically we're just going to build up the browns and then we'll move into the greens. Mm -mm -mm. Next I'm going to move on and take this deeper brown shade again from the same palette. And on a petite crease brush, this is slightly more denser and it has more of like a like dome shape, like a tulipy shape brush. So it's going to create a soft blend whilst also packing on the shade a bit darker in the crease. And again, I'm rounding out the eyes. So placing it on the inner and outer corner and through the crease. And again, going back in and softening the edges with those previous three shades. So for the lucky last brown shade that we'll be taking, I'm going in with this deepest brown from the palette and placing this on with a professional eye pencil brush from Gloss. And it's a nice dense brush, so it's going to really pack on that colour and a really focused area and quite heavily pigmented as well. What I'm doing is I'm packing it on the inner and outer corners and then blending whatever's left on the brush through the crease. And what I'm basically the aim of the eyeshadow is to have the have that perfect blended gradient without being able to tell where one colour begins and one ends. Next I'm taking Edgy Emerald which is like a um, cream eyeshadow from Maybelline. It's one of their 24 hour colour tattoo eyeshadows and I'm going to pack this on the centre of the lid. Kind of like a base for like the green eyeshadow that we we'll apply on top and to also kind of make the base a bit tacky again. Next I'm going to take the epic shade which is that gorgeous stunning emerald green and I'm going to pack this all over like the outer rims of the green so I'm not going to place it all over the lid just just watch and see how I do it yeah basically that's how I'm going to explain it just just watch and see <laughs> so I've left like the center bit untouched because I still want to keep some of that tackiness because I'm going to create like a gradient into the center because yeah I showed you that reference picture at the beginning it had like the green it also had like blues in it and it is like an emerald green eye look but it's gonna like fade into like a pop of blue in the center of the lid that's kind of like how I think I'll do it I don't even think this is a spotlight halo I think I made it into a more halo eye kind of thing kind of thing oh yes I 
I swear guys, like The Greatest Showman, best flipping movie ever. It's so like uplifting and the message is incredible. I swear in that song, my favorite line, I was talking about this with my sisters, my favorite line is like, there is nothing I'm not worthy of. Like how flipping empowering is that? And such a great movie. Oh, uh, so those songs have been stuck in my head for ages. Oh, it is. It's so. I don't even mind. Like usually, I'm like, oh, but I am not over those songs. Like, I just can listen to them on repeat. Anyways, I feel like the eye, the green eye part's done. Let's move on to the next shadow. So next, I'm going to grab this gorgeous, gorgeous royal, like blue, shimmery eyeshadow. It's in the shade sapphire, and it's from Morphe. It's one of their single eyeshadows. And I'm going to place that along the edges of the green that we placed around the center of the lid. Oh, oh girl, mm. yes, yes. Sorry if I keep getting out of shot. I hope I'm in shot. Ooh, I'll see when I'm editing, won't I? Mm. I don't know if you can see the green fading to the blue. I'll bring some of that green back actually because I feel like it got a bit taken away with that blue. I mean, I just want that blue to be like a subtle fade. It's not like the statement shadow, if you know what I mean. So we've got like the fade into those, like those two shadows fading together. Next, I'm going to grab this gorgeous eyeshadow from Makeup Geek again in the shade Pegasus. I've used this in many of my videos. You guys know I love this gorgeous like turquoisey blue eyeshadow. I'm just going to pop this on the center of the lid, the very center. Mmm. Oh, I'm out of shot too. Oh, oh, that is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Like, I just am lost for words right now. I'm in love. I'm in love. And I'm just going to dip back into um, Sapphire and just kind of feather it on the edges of. Pegasus. And again with these shadows, I don't want it to be like one, two, three kind of eyeshadows. I want it to fade like a gradient. So you can't tell where one begins and one ends. That's the goal. So I do have this like mermaid shadow from NYX. And I'm thinking like, do I want to pop it on like the very tip, tip, tip center of the lid? Because it's got like a greeny shade to it. And like on my little reference picture... It's got like a bit of that mermaid kind of green. I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Should I? Or should I just leave it? You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to live a little. Experiment. Like, I flippin' love this eyeshadow look like just how it is right now. But I think I might just do like, and I mean like just a dab on the center. Do you see a difference? I guess it's a bit... It is, I feel like it just kind of emphasises like the very centre. Like it does make it a bit more shimmery. And then going in with Pegasus on the outer rims. And Sapphire. And then Epic. Yes. Yeah, let's go. So I'm just going to take some of that deep brown shade and just kind of feather it along the edges. I don't mind it being a little bit harsher with the green into the brown. Because it is like the statement of the look. I'm just kind of feathering that brown along the edges. Just to make it a little bit less harsh. So once I've got our little blend of eyeshadows, I'm going to go in with mascara. And the mascara I'm going in with, with today is my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. It's where like two seconds into applying mascara. And I get it on my face. like Just like classic me. Like classic Megan, man. I'm not very good with my mascara wand. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just clean it up in a little bit. No harm, no foul. But while that's drying, I'll get rid of it when I apply my lashes. So I'll go off camera, apply my lashes, and be right back, hun. Okay? 
And the lashes I'm going in with today are the Temptress Wispy ones from House of Lashes. They're short on the inner and outer corners, so they're perfect for this like halo eye look because it's more of a rounded shape eye than a cat eye look, so I want something that's going to round the eyes out. Plus, they're super wispy, so they're not going to take away from any of the eyeshadow since it is definitely eyeshadow focus. Like, you can go more dramatic if you want, but I think these are so complimentary. They don't take away, so I'm going in with these ones. Plus, these have, like, a clear lash band, so you can't see where, like, it starts and like it's got like a thick black one where you can definitely see it just sitting there it's got a clear one so it melts into the lash line a lot more smoother especially because you don't have any liner on so it's just gonna be like just there but not obvious kind of thing anywho I'm gonna move on with the rest of the eyes so I'm going to apply a black to my tight line like my top lash line to help the false lashes mesh in with my normal lash line. You just see the difference having black in the all line does. Like, I don't know, you can tell, but you can just... It just looks more like your lashes when you have a black eye curl sitting on your tight line. Plus, it just makes your lashes look more obvious and voluminous and just kind of there. But for the waterline, I'm going to take this bla um, brown coal liner from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And I'm going to place this on the bottom lash line, just because I don't want something as intense as black. And like, it's tying the brown and the crease kind of together with the bottom lash line. But of course, you guys can do whatever you want. You can do a nude, you can do a white, you can do a black, whatever you want to do. You can even do a blue. And I've also just placed a bit of that brown on the bottom, like underneath my lash line, just kind of the outer two thirds. Then I'm going to take these two deep brown shades that we used in the crease area. I'm going to apply this along where we placed that brown eye curl under the lash line. Then grabbing these um, two brown shades again that we used in the crease, the bricky brown and that lighter brown, I'm going to buff out those two deep brown shades. And I kind of like to make little, like, like eye bag kind of things under the lash line. Like I really liked that kind of smoky eye bag kind of look. So I bring it down quite far. Of course you guys definitely don't have to if you don't want to. You can keep it more tightly wound on the lash line. Next I'm going to take that transition colour that we used at the very beginning and on a super fluffy brush I'm just going to softly buff out the edges of the browns on the bottom lash line so it's a bit more softer and smokier. I always make sure to connect it up to the lash line at the top. Mm. Oh girl. Mm. This lid space like is just so pretty. Ah. <laughs> Next I'm going to apply some bottom lash mascara. This is the same one that I used um, for my top lashes so it's just a coarser one. And you'll want to make sure that your bottom lashes are pretty I guess like heavily coated because like um, we've got quite a dramatic bottom lash line going. So just thinking like what inner corner and brow bone and highlights I want to do. I'm thinking white, like something pearlescent. Hmm. And do I want it matte or do I want it like... You know, I think I'll do a matte. Yeah, I'll do a matte because the lid space is where I want the attention to be. It's going to be matte. Oh, but then like there's like shimmer shimmer and I really like shimmer shimmer. I'll keep the brow bone matte, but the inner corner popping. So I'm going to take, first of all, white lies. And I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone for that kind of highlight, but not taken away from the gorgeous all shadows on the lid. And this is a good time if you found that you have brought your eyeshadows up too high, like on the brow bone area, then you can just clean it up in a matte, just makes it so easy. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen. Such gorgeous pair together. I'm placing this just on the very, very, like, inner corners of my eye. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to go and do my hair and I'll come back and wrap up this video. So just quickly, for the lips, I used um, Kali Cosmetics um, Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Commando. And over top, I went in with my Dose of Colors 
um, lip gloss in the shade Undressed. I feel like it's the nudie pink finish. I feel like the eyes are such a statement. I didn't want to kind of overpower them. So this, guys, wraps up today's look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love just how the eyes have turned out. Like, it's such a gorgeous, like, shimmer lid. Girl, I'm just giving me life right now. It really is. I hope you guys did enjoy today's makeup look. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me before you leave. So I know you guys like these kinds of tutorials and it really helps me out. It helps share this video around and things like that. Also, if you guys would like, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave as well. So you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you all very soon. Mwah! Bye.